my apology it's because it's supposed to be surprising tonight. Okay, sorry for that. Anyway, anyone who drinks soft drinks that are related to you, please raise your hands. Come on. I'm also raising my hands. <laughs> Come on. Anyone? Okay, I think most of us. Nowadays, most of the companies invest a lots of lots of money to make something unhealthy look appealing of the packaging of the skin beverages. <coughs> and, and even high famous celebrities like the one that we've asked in here, Yen Sei, specifically from Guam. And no wonder consumers, for well, all of us, is still buying despite of the negative side effects. Of course, I'm not here, I'm not watching the solar industry, I am not some sort of activist protesting against unhealthy beverages. I'm just stating the facts that I love them as much as you do. But I'm just wondering, do I love them because they taste good? Or just because I see their ads in a daily basis? We know hope that when we keep drinking these kind of beverages, our body shape will be made in this guy. You know? Or maybe on a purpose, when we keep drinking, you know, their love is still hot and they just share it together and drink it. That's not the case, right? Now, before we go through with the side effects of these drinks, the bird beverages, let's define what is soft drinks. We know everybody knows about what soft drinks, right? So, soft drinks is a drink that typically contains a carbonated water, a sweetener, and a natural or artificial flavoring. I want to emphasize the sweetener and artificial flavoring. The sweetener may be a sugar or high fructose corn syrup, food juice, and sugar, I would say, sugar substitutes in the case of diet drinks. They said, or a combination of this. The sugar contains of uh, a faint colorings, preservatives, and other ingredients. This is the combination, the, the carbonization you know, in the process. So now, what are the types? Okay, I want to show you the types of soft drinks that are available in the market. Please look at it. Maybe one of them, or maybe all, might be your favorite things. I have this Coca-Cola products, Pepsi products, Eminem products, name it. All of this actually, in different countries, you have their own soft drinks brand, right? Okay, one of the interesting when you drink soft drinks is within 60 minutes or one hour, you may encounter a sugar crush. Okay, take a look at this one slide. Okay, I have this one more. So this illustration different types of sugar, I mean sugar contains. One can of soft drink contains a seven teaspoon. Okay? Followed by the paper cup which normally is served in a fast food restaurant like McDonald's, right? You have small medium. It consists of what? Eight teaspoon and eleven teaspoon of sugar. And plastic bottle, this is a 12 and 13 bottle, 13 teaspoons. And lastly, the 100 liters contains a 32 teaspoon. God, so why not better drink all the stuff? So this sugar goes to your body, right? So now, the question is, what will happen to your body if you get a drink, like, for example, the medium size that's served at the McDonald's, it consists of 11 teaspoon. As I tell you this, this 11 teaspoon of sugar, within 10 minutes, will hit your system. Okay, and the reason, the only reason why you don't vomit, because as a result of the overwhelming sweetness that cuts the flavor. And around 20 minutes, your blood sugar spikes, and your liver responds to resulting insulin burst by turning a massive sugar into fats. Okay? The next one, after 40 minutes, caffeine absorption is complete. Your pupils dilate, and your blood pressure rises. Come on, here is one. Your liver dumps more sugar into your bloodstream. Last 45 minutes. Within 45 minutes, your body increases dopamine production, which stimulates the central line of your brain. And after one hour, 60 minutes, there it is. You got a sugar crush. Scary, right? Isn't it? Okay? 
and sugar, I'm sorry, sorry, soft drinks are linked to many health problems. Two of those, one is obesity and diabetes. Okay, so to this way, this is actually the preservative use in soft drinks are linked to asthma. See the asthma there? And look, the soda is a phosphoric acid are linked to uh, sorry, the osteoporosis, to decay, kidney stones, and other kidney problems. Yeah, these are the effects of drinking more soft drinks. And the same experience, when I was young, my auntie actually was diagnosed with diabetes. And one of her legs has been removed because the wounds of she had not able to carry the water. So the doctor not only for her to sort of have it to stay long, I mean, this has to be removed. No reason, no choice. So you move. However, after one year later, she died. So, and my mom told us, my aunt actually loves to think some things when she was young. And in all occasions we have, something is always present in the table. Now, if you keep still drinking some things, stopping the habit is an easy way to improve your health. Fewer water is a much better choice. And if you're going to drink carbonated beverages, just try sparkling mineral water with a squirt of lime or lemon juice. And there's absolutely no reason for our kids to be to drink of these soft things. None, not a seat, zero, no excuses. Elimination of soft things is one of the major factors to deny about the health care problems for you or your children may suffer. Yeah, nobody's, it's, I mean, even the yeah, so what's the effect? And then, actually, if you are struggling with soda, you please remind them, sugar is actually what? Addictive than okay. Now my question is, are you still keen to drink some of this? No? <laughs> Thank you, back to you.